Welcome to another installment of the UIU How-To. I'm Support Specialist Jason Stewart, and in this video we will be walking through the control panel features, as well as showing you an overview of the Universal Imaging Utility System Deploy plugin for SCCM, and how it integrates into your task sequence. Upon installation of the UIUSD, the first thing you should take note of is the new icon appearing in the system tray. This is the UIUSD control panel. You can double-click to load the control panel, or alternatively, you can right-click to bring up the context menu. The control panel's primary function is to serve as an updater for the product. From the main UIUSD screen, you can determine which version of the product you have installed, as well as your latest driver package, and see whether or not there are updates available. The Options screen will allow you to configure between manually checking for updates and an automatic check with Big Bang LLC servers to see if any updates are available, as well as allow you to change the temporary update download location and which mirror to pull the updates down from. Scheduling an automatic update check will only ask the updater to look for updates and alert you if they are available. It will not automatically download updates. You will need to manually authorize the start of the update process to actually receive updates. The Help screen provides links to the online user guide, the online support form, and the latest release notes. Use the online support form to contact the support team should you have any questions or trouble using the product. The Contact Us page will provide you with additional phone numbers and URL links should you need to contact our offices or sales team. Returning now to the UIUSD main page, you can see the update process in action. Once updates have completed, click Done to return to the Version Overview screen. While the UIUSD has a small system footprint, for those admins that wish to keep the server's active services at a bare minimum, the UIUSD plugin does not require the updater to be running to operate. Should you need to uninstall the product, you can do so from the Programs and Features control panel. This will remove the software as well as ask you if you would like to remove the package that UIUSD creates during its installation, if that package still exists. Before uninstalling, you should ensure that you have removed the UIUSD machine configuration from any task sequences you may have added it to, as SCCM will not automatically do so and cause the task sequence to become locked out from editing. For this demo, I will be using the SCCM 2012. For those of you following along at home on SCCM 2007, the concepts and processes will be the same, but the GUI locations will be different for you, as you are likely already aware. Navigating to the Application Packages area of SCCM, we can see here that during the installation of UIUSD, a package was automatically created for us. You will need to distribute this package using your normal package distribution method. In addition, for 2012 admins, you will also need to access the package properties, select the Data Access tab, and select the copy of the content in this package to a package share on distribution points. In order to allow UIU to function optimally, you will also need to select this option on all of the other packages referenced in your OS deployment task sequence. By enabling this option on all of the reference packages, a new option will become available during deployment that will allow the task sequence to access the content directly from the distribution points, instead of being required to download each package to the target machine. We will cover more on that option later in this video. This package should be treated like any other package in your environment as far as updating and distribution is concerned. It will likely be beneficial to your network to enable binary differential replication for this package as well, as that will minimize the amount of network activity when updating distribution points. 
Should you unintentionally or have a reason to intentionally delete the package, it can be recreated using the UIUSD driver repository as your source location. In this case, the repository was installed to the default location in the data directory of the UIU software directory. Adjust this if you installed the repository to a different location. With the package on its way to the distribution points, we will now add the UIUSD machine configuration to a task sequence. Choose your OSD task sequence that you wish to add the UIUSD to and enter the task sequence editor. Once at the editor window, you can use the Add Task drop-down menu and select the Universal Imaging Utility. UIUSD machine configuration. The optimal position to add the UIUSD task is in place of the default SCCM driver task. You can either disable the SCCM driver package task or remove it completely. While the UIUSD will not specifically interfere with the operations of the SCCM driver installation tasks, you should, have, should you have a reason to use them in addition to the UIUSD, ensure that they are performed after the UIUSD machine configuration step, as the UIUSD process will undo any driver tasks performed before its operation. With the UIUSD machine configuration step highlighted, the only option that is required to continue is to browse for and select the UIUSD package that you distributed. For normal operations, that's it. The machines that this task sequence is deployed to will be scanned during the UIUSD machine configuration step and have the drivers they need installed. But let's go over the other options available as well. First, the driver DAT options. This drop-down menu will display any of the driver databases that are available with your repository. What is available in this list will depend greatly on when you installed and how many updates you have done since you installed. Its purpose is to give you the option to roll back to a previous database should we release an update that has some unfavorable consequences in your environment. While we do make every effort to ensure that driver updates and additions to the database do not conflict with or negatively impact any machines, we cannot foresee all complications, and so we provide a fail-safe option to use a previous database set that you have installed if needed. Each time you update to a new database, it will appear at the top of this list and will become the latest driver database. The next option is the Discovery Tool Package option. This option is available for customers that have machines with special devices. It is often used with Apple hardware for devices that do not make themselves known during the setup process, thus making it impossible to detect and install the correct drivers. This option should only be selected when a member of the UIU support team has helped you create the necessary discovery tool files. The next option is the custom driver package. In cases where a driver is absent from the database or for other support related reasons, a custom package path can be used to add drivers to the UIU process in lieu of an update. You should also consult with the UIU support staff before using this option. The last option available is the signed drivers only option. In cases where it's important to your business that only signed drivers are allowed into the environment, for example, certain government agencies have such policies, you can select this option. Typically, you will not see much of a difference whether you select this as true or false, as we do not see many unsigned drivers these days. But leaving it false will ensure that UIUSD will have all the drivers available to consider for your devices during its install. Unless it's otherwise required by your organization, we do recommend leaving this set to false. At this point, you can click OK to save the changes and exit, or apply and continue reviewing the modifying your task sequence. From here, there is one more option you will want to select for an optimally successful UIUSD deployment. To show this, I will create a quick deployment here. So here we are at the distribution point part of the deployment wizard. At this screen, you will want to select the access content directly from a distribution point when needed by the running task sequence option. This option will allow UIUSD to pull down only the drivers it needs to the target machines instead of downloading the entire UIUSD package. 
If you haven't already been using this option, you may also notice a decrease in your overall deployment time as some of your other task sequence items may benefit from this option being enabled as well. For SCCM 2007, this option will be a checkbox that is always available. However, for SCCM 2012 folks, this option will only be available if the copy the content prerequisite has been met. To get access to this option, if it is not being displayed in this drop-down menu, ensure all your packages referenced by the deployment have the copy the content option selected in each of their properties. You can find which packages are referenced by the task sequence by selecting the OSD task sequence and clicking on the References tab. While you unfortunately can't manage the packages from this area, you can see the list of packages you need to check if the access content directly option was not available in your deployment wizard. Navigate to the package location, view its properties, select the data access tab, and then ensure the copy the content in this package to a package share on distribution points has been checked. Once all of your reference packages have this option enabled, the access content directly from a distribution point when needed by the running task sequence option will become available. With this option selected, your task sequences will deploy optimally. UIUSD will still work even if this option is not selected, but the entire 8GB driver database will be pushed down to each machine if the download option is selected. This would obviously cause some seriously unnecessary network traffic and increase your deployment time greatly. This concludes the UIUSD overview video. Thank you for watching.